Hi everyone, this video is a short introduction to one of my digital budget templates in my Etsy shop. It's called Monthly Budget Google Sheet. I will put a link in the description below. Since this is a Google Sheet template, it's stored in the Google Cloud Drive. Unlike Microsoft Excel, Google Sheet is free to use and you can access it anywhere. In this video, I am going to quickly show you the functionalities of this spreadsheet so you know what it is about and what it can do for you. For a full tutorial, there is another video for that. I will put a link in the description below. At the start page, you can choose your currency symbol, the year of budgeting, and the date format. Just make your selection and press the button here. And at the bottom of the sheet, you can see two tables, recurring items and non-recurring items. You can put in the type, estimated amount, frequency, the starting date and ending date of each item for both expense and income. After you fill out this table, um, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate for you how much expense will be incurred for each month and when you need to make, make particular payments um, according to the frequency you set. In the non-recurring items, you can create a few categories and put in a monthly estimated amount which you can treat as your budget. So after you fill in this table, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate for you how much budget you have for each month for each particular category and if your actual expenses align with your estimate. Here you can put in the merchant's names that you regularly do transactions with and in other sheets you will, will be able to calculate how much money you spend or you receive money from the merchant. In a subset page you can create subcategories of the items you created in a start page. This helps you see where you spend your money in more details and can be used to generate useful statistical analysis later on. The entries page is where you enter your individual transactions. If you fill out the tables in a start page, you can use the drop down menu to select the categories you have created. The more transactions you put in the entries page, the busier you will see in the month's pages. There are 12 pages or tabs. Each page is for a month. I'm showing you the January page here. In the overview table, you will see the estimate amount of income and expense. These are automatically calculated for you if you completed the information in the start page. The actual income and expense reflect the transactions you put in the entries page. There are three charts. In the first chart, you see a cumulative spending over the days of the month. The second chart is a comparison between your estimated budget and actual amount. The third is a donut chart showing you how much money you saved in this month. At the bottom, there are several tables showing you the breakdown of all transactions. The first table shows daily breakdown. The second table is a breakdown of types of expense transactions. The third table is similar, but it's about income. The next table shows you the breakdown of transactions for each subset. There is an annual dashboard that summarizes your finance for the whole year. The layout is similar to the month's page. Once you have entered your recurring transactions in a start page, you can use this tracker page to track all the bills you need to pay periodically. The list of items for each month are generated automatically. It even gives you the total amount of these bills for the month. You don't need to manually input these bills and their due dates. The only thing you need to do yourself is to check these checkboxes after the bill is paid. But even that, it is up to you. 
In the Entry Query page, you can filter your transactions to get a better understanding of your spending and earnings. You can filter by date, by the dollar amount, by type, subset, merchant, and payment method. To give you an example, I will expand the date from January 31st to April 30th. As you can see, there are more items generated in a query result. Now I can filter these items by clicking the items in these boxes. Grocery, then only grocery items will show up. Salary, salary items show up in the query result. Clothing, okay, there's no clothing transactions yet. Merchant, Walmart, if I want to look at both merchants, I can click check both boxes so that both Walmart and Home Depot transactions show up. If you purchase the data savvy version of the budget planner, you will see at the right side are some of charts that summarize the query result. If you are a visual learner, these charts can help you get a bigger picture of your transactions. Let me uncheck this to have more query results so you can see that these are dynamic charts. These charts change their look depending on the query result. So you can see the amount in each type, amount in each subset, and amount in each merchant. If you purchase the data savvy version, you will see an additional page giving you various statistical summaries, such as cumulative monthly savings in comparison with your savings plan, your monthly expenses, your monthly income, and six largest expense types all with a lot of charts accompanying the data. They can help you understand your financial situation so you can make more informed financial decisions in the future. This sums up this introduction video of my digital budget planner. If you are interested in this planner, you can go to my Etsy shop Digital Life One using the link in the description. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.